Lexi and I am back with another sweet build. So this time we're going to be building a witch's house and the reason why I wanted to build a witch's house today is because I've had a massive fascination with witches my whole life. When I was younger I used to collect witch dolls and I just found it really fascinating so I thought it would be even more fascinating to create a house for you on The Sims 4 and I just thought that would be a really cool idea. I know that a lot of you did like when I did Howl's Moving Castle, which I would perceive to be quite an unusual build and I would imagine that this build and Howl's Moving Castle aren't that far off from each other. I think the only differences really are the shape of this build and also the fact that it's not floating. If it was floating then it would pretty much be Howl's Moving Castle and it's not a steampunk as well. But the sort of style that I went for is a little bit similar the way that it is all higgledy piggledy. I didn't use too many items on the outside but I think in terms of the roofing it just does look very steampunky so I hope you're gonna like it. I'd love to know what you think in the comments below and if you have any ideas for the interior then let me know. That is the reason why I'm doing it in two parts. So the first part is just going to be the exterior but when it comes to doing the interior I really really want to hear your input so if you have any ideas for that let me know or if you have any screenshots or anything that you want to share with me then you can share it with me over Twitter, you could share it with me over email, just depends on how you want to do it. But yeah that does really help sometimes because if you ever see a house which is really witchy or the way that you would imagine this house to look on the inside then it's always nice to share opinions and things because it gives you a chance to be able to have your input on this build. But anyway, so I'm considering making a sim for this house and if you do want me to do it then let me know because of course then I will. But I was considering making maybe two witches, maybe one which would be like a stereotype witch who was green, pointy nose, that sort of thing, really old, I don't know. But I also thought about making like a really pretty witch or something, I don't really know what I'm going to go for. But if I was going to do a creator sim, I might do two completely different witches and I think that would be a really cool idea. I think I will. I think that that is just something that I would imagine to happen. Maybe they could be related, maybe they could be sisters. And I would imagine that maybe two people would live in a house this size. Of course, a lot of the exterior is going to be focused on decorations. So I think it's quite difficult to be able to have lots and lots of room on the inside of this build. But when it comes to it, we'll see what happens because I'm hoping for maybe two to three bedrooms, just depending on how big it is, but we'll see what happens. If roofing is something that you do struggle with as well, I think this build will help a lot of people which are struggling with roofing. I would imagine that it would be a lot easier to see what I'm doing slowed down. And if you do want me to do a tutorial at some point, then let me know. I think this build is probably the most roofing that I have done in a very, very long time. And even though it might not look like it, I think a lot of diagonal pieces, a lot of thought did go into the roofing and I did change it around and you'll see that at the end as well. A lot more roofing does add to this build and it's just very, very crooked. And I think that if you are creating a crooked build, the best thing to do is use anything you can which is diagonal. Also, roofing's free. So if you do want to create a starter home or something which is really crooked and you have a budget and you need to stick to it, then lots of roofing is a really good idea because it means that you don't have to pay anything for it. That's why I try and use free things, so anything that's free in the game I use. So panelling on the roofing, just anything like that. I don't think the freezes cost anything either, but I don't think I use a lot of freezes in this house, but we'll see. I used a lot of balconies in the build and the reason why I used balconies was because I love the idea of having screenshots of the sims using the property and I think that from a screenshot perspective you could take some really interesting screenshots from them. So you could have a wedding here, you could do lots and lots of different things here, you could have a party and I think it's a really cool house to have that. I would definitely imagine this house to be in Granite Falls but the reason why I didn't put it in Granite Falls was because of the lighting. The lighting is really, really bad in certain places in The Sims 4 world so there are certain places which I just don't build in and that is just because sometimes the houses don't look the best in them. So this home looked a lot better in Willow Creek where I'm building it now and I thought that it was better to have it there rather than being surrounded by trees because you can see exactly what the build looks like and I think that's really important especially for the Sims 4 gallery. It means that you can see what you're downloading on the picture and I think that's a lot better than seeing loads of trees which sometimes happens. Some of the plots interfere with things and sometimes trees show up on the plots and you can't really see the house behind it. 
So I didn't want that to happen, so that's why I decided to build it here. But anyway, I was putting in the wallpaper at this point. I went for some stone. I also went for some panelling, so you'll see that throughout as well. If you do see the people outside the house, they are not actually going to be the owners of it. They came with the base game, I think. They are the friend family or something like that. I don't tend to move the families of the towns about and I'd be really interested to see if others do as well. But I just tend to see how it plays out and usually I end up with a load of odd people which aren't really part of the town or at least shouldn't be there. In fact, when I did Hogwarts as a speed build, I created loads of Harry Potter characters and I intended on having like an introduction where you would see a little video of them all arriving at Hogwarts and stuff. It didn't work out because I just didn't know too much about the books, unfortunately, to sort of pull it off. And I just felt like, I don't know, it wasn't what I wanted to do. So I ended up with Harry Potter's dad and he had a child called Amelia and she's been going around the town for absolute months. And in fact, a lot of people have commented in the past that you've seen a baby like halfway in between a bush or something on a current speed build that I'm doing. And she's most likely that baby. She is... Honestly, on a lot of my speed builds, if you ever see like a baby in the back of somewhere, it's just because I forgot to move that family. And yeah, they're actually shown in a lot of my videos. So if you ever pay attention and you ever see the family at the front and what they're doing, it's most likely James Potter and Amelia. So <laughs> yeah, a little backstory there, but that's what happened. At this point, I was trying to mismatch the wallpapers on purpose, and that's what I was doing with the roofing. The windows were supposed to have the same effect. It was really difficult though, because some of the windows are different colors and I would have liked it if they were all a little bit similar, but some are light brown, some are darker brown. And I don't know, maybe that was the beauty of the build because it was extremely mismatched in terms of windows. I would of course love a color wheel, but I don't think we'll ever get one. I'm hoping that if we ever get a Sims 5, they'll bring that back just because so many people have mentioned it. And I think for creative purposes, I find it really difficult sometimes without having that sort of freedom. So yeah, I really hope they do that. And I was also creating some castle bits because I thought the one thing that this build lacked at this point was definitely some nice castle bits. And I thought that it would look really interesting here. So I was trying to create something. I actually ended up having this part in straw, strangely. So I don't know where I got this idea from. I actually think it might have been from Belle's house out of Beauty and the Beast. So Belle lives in a sort of cottagey house. And it was actually one of the first creations that I ever made on the Sims 4 gallery. So I probably made her house about nine months ago. And that was when I really started building. So yeah, I think I was at that point focusing on Disney princesses, which I'm definitely, definitely thinking about going back to. I've just got so much going on at the moment and so many builds, but when I get time, I will do some Disney builds because that is something that I really want to do. Maybe not Belle's house again, maybe I will just go straight for the castles and things like that. I'm really hoping for terrain tools. I know that I mentioned it a while ago, but I did see something about terrain tools, rumours going round and maybe we'll get them, maybe we won't. But nothing's really happened since then, so that sort of puzzled me. But we just got to see and hope and yeah, maybe if it does then I'll be able to create some really unusual builds. But anyway, so I was finishing off on the windows. The windows took me a very long time and I thought because I wasn't fully decided on them, I thought I would put some trees in there as well <laughs> to make it look a little bit stranger. So it does actually end up with trees on the actual build. So I would imagine that maybe some parts of it have just been around for maybe hundreds of years, even thousands of years, and maybe it's just grown that way. Maybe it was part of a tree and the tree died and it left a house in its place. I don't really know how that happened, but it does have loads of odd trees just on the roofs of it, and I think that that gives something to the medieval look that I wanted to go for. I also paid a lot of attention to add some of these roofing parts to the build, so things that we got from the Sims 4 Get Together, which I haven't really used yet. I use a lot of them, so overhangs, things like that, just roofing parts that you can just add for further detail, I did. I put some flower pots on the outside of the build, so you'll start to see those appearing now. And I used to have some flower pots when I lived in Switzerland in the apartment that I lived in in Basel. And what happened was the people that lived in it before us, they took the flower pots, but they left the flower pot holders, which was really, really odd. But I think we've always had bad experiences with moving to places because we always seem to get like the really bad deal. So we always get the house, which has had pretty much everything taken out of it before the people have left. In fact, when we moved to the house that we live in now, I'm pretty sure the people took every single light fixture they could, the mirrors, everything they possibly could. They even took the screws out of the walls, just absolutely anything 
they could take they took there was blinds missing just everything so we always get the really really bad deal but my grandma was telling me that she has a next door neighbor that moved into their house and the people that lived in it before them actually took the bathtub from the house they actually took it with them and moved it into their new home which i find really really strange but if anyone's got any stories of things that you've experienced that are really really odd like that then let me know in the comments because it's always fun to talk about that sort of stuff i started messing around with the roofing by this time and the roofing wouldn't adjust any higher than how i wanted it i wish that we could have roofing a little bit more higher and i wish the limits could be expanded with a cheat or something i really hope that i'll do that in the future but i don't know if they will if you are thinking about ways that you can sort of get around it what i would say is you can always add things to the top of the build if you want to do that that's what i did there so if you see at the top it sort of looks like it's a little bit larger than it is just by what i added to it so it does look a little bit like a witch's hat something like that maybe the sorting hat out of harry potter that sort of effect just a really crooked old hat and i wanted some really big features on top of it but that is the end of the build so i really hope you enjoyed it and i hope you see all part two thank you so much for watching and i will speak to you all soon